as I was saying, welcome to Second Avenue. Uh, definitely one of the major construction sites in New York City right now. So um, what you're looking at right now is construction of phase one of the Second Avenue subway, uh, which um, of course I think many of you know has been an idea that's been stopped and started since, uh, since the 1940s or so. And so um, phase one will basically be an extension of the Q train. So it will hook into the Q at 57th Street uh, the existing queue, and then terminate, there will be a station um, at 96th Street. And uh, um, actually, Civitas, um, it's kind of interesting, kind of in keeping with the theme of what we've been talking about today, uh, there's not going to be a station entrance uh, north of 96th Street. So unfortunately, all the folks who live in this part of the neighborhood are going to have to cross a very, very busy street uh, to, uh, to reach the 2nd Avenue subway, which is very much needed in this community. So uh, Civitas, um, working with the community, uh, really pushed the MTA to construct a new, uh, an, an entrance on the north side of 96th Street. Unfortunately, that's not taking place. Uh, so um, eventually, the full build-out of, uh, of uh, the 2nd Avenue subway will extend to uh, 125th Street, and then that will be phase two. And then phase three will be south of the section that's currently under construction, which will be from uh, 63rd Street to 14th Street. And then phase four, you know, if that's anyone in any of our lifetimes, I'm not sure. Uh, phase four will be um, uh, from 14th Street to Hanover Square, so uh, uh, the financial district. And so um, the, the city has not, or the MTA rather, has not built a subway of this magnitude in three many, many years. So I think um, there's a sense that it's been kind of a learning experience for them. And so there have been many impacts along the way. So the design of this uh, particular subway is quite different than what we're um, used to on Lexington Avenue and, and other locations. Uh, it will actually be seven stories below um, the street level. So uh, it will be reached by uh, escalators and, uh, and elevators only. And so, um, as I mentioned, there's been a lot of discussion of the station entrances, and in some, in some cases, controversy. And so Civitas uh, sponsored a study a couple of years ago um, with our recommendations for the station entrances, some of which were acknowledged and, you know, other times have not been successful. Um, another really key element of the Second Avenue subway and, and its new design or design that reflects uh, the 21st century as opposed to 100 years ago when, when uh, the other sections of subway were constructed uh, in other parts of the city, uh, is it will have ancillary structures, what are called uh, ancillary structures, which are basically uh, partially mechanical structures, ventilation shafts. So each station, and there will be four stations, will have uh, ancillary structures uh, within a couple of blocks of those entrances. And those are partially for HVAC uh, equipment because actually the, the um, platforms will be air conditioned. And so we are going to have an ancillary structure uh, at this very location uh, at 92nd and, 97th and 2nd Avenue. And so that's why uh, the former lumber yard that was here, Green Lumber, has been demolished. And so uh, we have had a lot of comments on the design of the uh, ancillary structures. Again, some of which have been um, uh, incorporated into the design. In other cases, they haven't been. But in general, these are going to be very large utilitarian structures. And, uh, and um, one uh, suggestion that we had was wherever possible to incorporate retail into these structures to really kind of maintain the, the street life and animation of 2nd Avenue, which is obviously a very lively corridor. So in some cases, that is going to be um, accommodated. It will be very small footprint uh, retail since, since these buildings were um, constructed to house mechanical equipment. But, um, we, uh, uh, it will be interesting to see how this is actually constructed. Uh, the deadline for construction is, is always seems to be kind of a moving target. Uh, so I think the official deadline is 2016. Um, there's some thought that uh, that may be moved back a couple of years. And so um, when uh, the subway began construction in 2007, April 2007, I believe it was supposed to be wrapped up around 2013. So things are really getting delayed. So it's very much been a major impact on um, store owners and residents of the Second Avenue corridor. So something that we are always encouraging people to do is to shop Second Avenue and really patronize um, the, the store owners in this location 
because many of them have gone under, especially in this particular area, because uh, 96th Street and the surrounding blocks are really kind of the core of um, the construction for the whole process. This is the staging area for the Second Avenue subway, and so this area will be a construction site throughout the whole span of construction, unlike 86th Street and 76th Street, which um, once those stations are finished, the uh, construction will be over with. And so um, we are also um, working to prepare for when uh, the East Harlem section of the Second Avenue subway is constructed. There are kind of the same mistakes that are made. And so um, we are working to organize uh, small business owners in East Harlem to kind of be prepared for those financial impacts. And also uh, we will be developing recommendations for uh, for the build out of the subway as well. So for the ancillary structures and the station entrances, which have been so controversial in South of 96th Street. So uh, I think that concludes most of what I had to say. Something I'll point out, uh, which uh, we won't walk over to, we are just a couple of blocks over, uh, uh, to the west of the East River Esplanade, which is um, a waterfront park uh, in New York City. This uh, neighborhood actually needs quite a bit of park space. We're a good distance. From, uh, uh, from Central Park now, very low ratio of uh, park space for residents. And this is actually a New York City park that we're standing beside, the staging area for construction. So this has been no longer being used as a park during the construction, so we're actually losing park space right now. Uh, Civitas has organized a, uh, a design competition for the East River Esplanade because we feel that that uh, park really holds a lot of potential and a lot of importance to this community. And so our competition is focusing on the uh, section of the park from 60th to 125th Street, bridge to bridge, Queensboro Bridge to Triborough Bridge. And so um, we are currently soliciting designers, architects, uh, urban planners, landscape architects to enter this competition. So we have a lot of great um, submissions for our competition. And we actually have some materials uh, that will be handed out to you in just a minute uh, with information about this competition. So if you or someone you know would like to enter the competition, that would be great. Because our idea is we'll have a professionally juried competition. There's details about this in the packet. And then the community can really come together and see these are all of the fantastic possibilities for this waterfront park. Let's get to business. Let's determine our, our priorities and see how we want this to be constructed because parts of the Esplanade are actually, um, uh, the infrastructure, underlying infrastructure is crumbling.